Hi everyone, uh, welcome to RAW Online. Uh, I'm Dr. Anita, consultant microbiologist, and today I'm going to discuss about transplant and cancer immunology. So, chapter preview. So, uh, first it would cover uh, introduction about uh, transplant and cancer immunology, followed by detailed explanation about uh, transplant immunology and uh, cancer immunology. Transplant immunology includes classification of transplants like uh, type of uh, transplants and the types of grafts. Then we should know about histocompatibility antigens and transplantation antigens for better understanding of uh, uh, transplant immunology and uh, followed by uh, graft rejection and prevention and graft uh, versus host reaction. And uh, in cancer immunology, I am going to cover TATA and TSTA that is tumor associated transplantation antigen and tumor specific transplantation antigen and uh, finally cancer immunotherapy. Moving on to the introduction, so organ transplantation and cancer are two situations in which the host immune system plays a major role in the survival of such transplants or tumors inside the host. In organ transplantation, immune response against the graft is barrier to successful transplantation and suppression of the immune system is mandatory for graft survival. So in organ transplantation, Immune response is against a graft is a barrier for successful transplantation. Hence, it is necessary to suppress the immune system for graft survival. Whereas in cancer, the situation is reverse. Like uh, immunosuppressed individuals will not have, uh, will not be able to mount an immune response. So, it gives rise to the birth of many tumors. Thereby, that's why it's very important to enhance the immunity. So, this is the main principle behind treatment of cancers. So, coming to transplant immunology, transplantation refers to the transfer of a graft or transplant that is cells, tissues or organs from one side to another. So, individual from whom the transplant is taken is referred to as the donor, whereas individual to whom it is transplanted is called recipient. So, we should know of these two terms, who is donor and who is recipient. Donor is the individual from whom the transplant is taken, whereas the individual in whom the transplant is, uh, in whom the organ is transplanted, those people are called recipient. So, coming to the classification of transplants. So, transplants are classified in various ways. First, based on organ or tissue transplanted. So, based on the organ or tissue transplanted, the examples include kidney graft, heart graft and skin graft, etc. Next comes based on the anatomical site of the graft. So, based on the anatomical site of the graft, it is classified into two types that is orthotopic graft and heterotopic graft. Orthotopic graft or nothing but when the tissue or organ grafts are transplanted to their anatomically normal sites in the recipient. Example as in skin graft. So, here the organ grafts or tissues are transplanted to the anatomically normal site. Whereas, in heterotrophic graft, these tissues or organs are transplanted to the anatomically abnormal sites as when thyroid tissue is transplanted in a subcutaneous pocket. So, this is the difference between orthotopic and heterotopic graft. Then comes vital and static transplants. Vital grafts are the live grafts like uh, kidney or heart are expected to survive and function physiologically in the recipient, whereas static grafts are non-living structures like a bone or artery, which new tissue is laid by the recipient. So, it just, it, it just provides a scaffolding on which a new tissue is laid by the recipient. So, based on the genetic relationship between the donor and recipient, the grafts are classified as autograft, isograft, allograft and xenograft. Autograft, it, it is a self tissue transfer from one part of the body to other in the same individual. When the tissue is transferred from one part of the body to the other part in the same individual, then it is considered as autograft. Example, transferring healthy skin uh, from a normal uh, area to a burned area in burns patients and use of a healthy blood vessels to replace blocked coronary arteries. Uh, these are autograft. Whereas isograft, tissue transferred between genetically identical individuals. Example, between monozygotic twins. Allograft, here the tissue is transferred between genetically non-identical members of the same species. So, between non-identical members, but both belongs to the same species. Example, kidney transplant or heart transplant. Whereas in xenograft, 
the transfer of tissue takes place between different species that is the graft of a baboon heart into a man so in humans allograft are the most commonly used graft in transplant centers so today we are going to see in detail about the allograft so this is a pictorial representation showing all type of graft this is a autograft here the tissue is transferred from a normal healthy skin to the a uh, burnt area or the really diseased area so this is a self graft I means self transfer from now one side to other side so this is considered as autograft whereas in isograft the transplant I mean the transferring of uh, a graft is done between two identical twins whereas in allograft the transfer of a tissue takes place between two non identical individuals but uh, but both of them belong to the same species whereas in xenograft the transfer of tissue takes place between two different species so this is xenograft in autograft the tissue is transferred on the same individual whereas in isograft it is transferred between identical twins whereas in allograft it is transferred between two non identical individuals of the same species whereas in xenograft it is transferred between different species so this is a, a picture showing skin graft maybe this would have been uh, transferred from the normal area normal healthy skin and it has been uh, transplanted into a diseased area so this is an example of 